Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and the year 2021 is now over and today I want to show you the 10 of my most favorite microscopic specimens of the year 2021. Now I looked at the number of times that people watched the different videos of this channel and I came up with a top 10 list. So these are not only my favorite specimens but they're also yours. I included the links to the different videos in the description but now let's start Start, uh, the countdown. Number 10. Mold. Well, spoiled food. This is a fungus and it's not healthy. The string-like structures are called the hyphae and they are the cells of the fungus. And the round structures, these are spores. These spores they spread over the air and inhaling them, breathing them in is not healthy as they can cause allergic reactions. Now, I found a black mold growing on my breakfast toast, uh, but also on a tomato and also on other foods that I've forgotten in my refrigerator. And of course, I had to put these under the microscope uh, right away. Number nine, a tick. Now these parasites, they can be a real problem. Um, they can spread diseases like meningitis uh, or Lyme borreliosis. I found uh, this tick sucking some blood in the skin and I pulled it out very carefully uh, trying to keep it um, alive. Before mounting it on a microscope slide, I glued it to the tip of my tweezers using a little bit of a mounting medium. Um, now you are able to see also that the tick only has six legs and not eight legs. And the reason is, is that it's a tick larva. Adult ticks, they do have eight legs. I also put the tick uh, under the compound microscope uh, to make uh, this uh, very nice picture. Number eight, amoeba. Uh, these are single-celled protists and they're always interesting to observe, but you have to be a little bit patient. Um, they move slowly and therefore they're not quite easy to see you in, in a water sample. I put some old decomposing wood on some wet tissue paper and then added a little bit of food. And after a few days, the amoeba was swarming everywhere. The video clips here are made with time-lapse, uh, otherwise their movement would be not uh, easily visible. Number seven, Paramecium. This is of course an all-time favorite. Uh, they are fairly large, they move around almost constantly and are a real enjoyment uh, to watch. Paramecia can easily be found in pond water and I'm growing them in several small glass jars on my window. Um, they can be a little bit difficult to observe, uh, however, because they move so quickly. And in this case, uh, you have to make sure that they are squeezed between a microscope slide and the cover glass to limit uh, their movement. Uh, also added a little bit of food to the water sample to make uh, them reproduce and after a few days there were thousands of them in a small drop of water. During the past year, I've uh, made over 50 microscopy videos uh, for this channel. It's almost uh, one every week. And there were more than 4.3 million video views and the channel has gained almost 31,000 subscribers during the last year. So this is of course also a good opportunity now to say a big thank you to all of you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Many people have also visited my Amazon affiliate shop and have supported the channel this way. Thank you again. Now, some of you might be more interested in the technical aspects of microscopy and if you are, then I would like to also invite you over to visit my second YouTube channel where I talk about uh, microscope optics, uh, photography through the microscope and other related things. I also answer some questions uh, of my viewers there. But now let's go on and let's uh, continue with the countdown. Number six, bacteria. Bacteria are quite common and they can be found in pond water samples, but in also other places as well. Uh, they are also one of the more difficult specimens to observe because they can be quite small and they're transparent and they quickly move in and out of focus. So I put some yogurt bacteria under the microscope. The yogurt bacteria are in a freeze dried and powdered form and they are therefore safe to observe. I also found some sludge in the sink uh, of my apartment and the bacteria that I found there in this sludge are of course much more diverse. I used a phase contrast uh, to make these bacteria visible but uh, if you close the condenser of your microscope then you're also able to observe them under regular bright field conditions.
Number five, blood. The round disc shaped cells, these are red blood cells and they carry oxygen, but they are also white blood cells that fight diseases. Some of the white blood cells move around like an amoeba. And if you're lucky, then you can also see some of them engulf and eat up other cells. The clip uh, shows, uh, is shown here is in time lapse because the white blood cells, they move quite slowly. And uh, you can now see how they crawl around searching for something uh, to eat. Number four, onion. Onion cells, uh, who would have guessed that? Uh, they are a typical beginner's specimen because uh, preparation is so easy. But they are nevertheless very interesting to observe under the microscope. Now look at the small moving dots inside the cell. These are so-called vesicles and they transport substances around inside the cell, moving along almost uh, like on a highway. You need a fairly good microscope uh, to be able to see these uh, vesicles, however. The large round structures, that is the nucleus of the cell and occasionally you are also able to see the two smaller nucle nucleoli inside the nucleus. Number 3. Chloroplasts the chloroplasts uh, of water plant uh, of the water plant Elodia is quite interesting to watch because uh, they move. Uh, this is called cytoplasmic streaming. Chloroplasts are those uh, cell organelles uh, that do photosynthesis, so they capture sunlight and they produce uh, food for the plant and of course also oxygen. Chloroplasts uh, can move uh, to those places inside the cell where they are able to catch most of the sunlight. Now, if you do not have a river or pond uh, with Elodia or Egeria where you live, uh, then you can also buy them from a shop selling aquarium plants. Simply put a leaf directly under the microscope uh, to watch uh, the chloroplasts move, also using time lapse. Number two, water bears. Water bears are also known as moss piglets or tardigrades. They are micro animals that have a fixed number of cells. They feed on bacteria and other small matter. Tardigrades, they have eight legs and they have claws. And this one here tries to walk forward but is not able to do so because the microscope slide is too slippery. It cannot cling to anything. Tardigrades, they like uh, to live in moss, uh, but I've also found some uh, in some quite unusual places. Here I had to lower a small plastic container to collect some of the water and some of the duckweed. And number one, Demodex face mites. Now the Demodex face mites, that's of course the most popular specimen because from a certain age onwards, pretty much everyone will have them. They are able to live in the hair follicles of our skin. They feed on oil that our skin produces. The face mites, they can be easily collected by taking a sticky tape and placing it on your forehead for about 30 minutes or an hour. And uh, they li like also to come out at night, uh, so you have to keep it dark. The tape uh, can then be uh, placed uh, on a microscope slide uh, for observation. Now many people don't like uh, those face mites, they don't like the idea of having them on your face or growing in your skin, but I can assure you that they are a completely natural and normal part of our healthy skin. So enough for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that you liked the video. I wish you a happy new year 2022. Happy microbe hunting as always and may your objectives always remain clear and in focus. Well, have a nice new year. Happy new year and uh, see you around. Bye bye.